One in four older adults will fall at least once this year. And while that might seem like something small, it is the leading cause of injury, injury related deaths for those 65 and over. Wisconsin has a higher rate of falls than any other state. And as Corrine Zell reports, local college students are working to fix that. These students are helping older people stay at home and age in place. The idea is to let the elderly safely keep their routine while getting the care they need. Even though Daniel Erbstacer can enjoy his model cars the same way most collectors do, he has his own way. I think it's a 50 and 59 Corvette. The display, something his stream of visitors always notice. He's really in great shape, but he can't see. So one of the concerns was what if there were things around the house that he might trip on? If there were things in the hallway that might be dangerous for him. Kelly Anderson is the CEO of Fresh Meals on Wheels of Sheboygan County. She says volunteers not only drop off meals, they do safety checks. And many times they notice red flags, but need experts to step in. That's why the nonprofit asked Concordia University to help. Do you often get bored? No. Dean of the nursing school, Sharon Chappie, says they build on the trust the Meals on Wheels volunteers have already made with patients. Because a lot of times these elders, they feel that people are coming in trying to get them out of their homes. Nursing and pharmacy teachers and students come in first to go over the patient's health history. With them, right? Oh, sure, yeah. So a lot of it is deep deprescribing, so a lot of patients have a lot of medication, seeing if we can reduce the amount of load of their prescription therapy if it's not needed. Fourth year pharmacy student Emily Gomez says getting out of the classroom has taught her more than she imagined. I discovered that not a lot of clients have been taking their medications the way that they've been picking them up. So it's been eye opening. It has been eye opening. The next Concordia group to come in is occupational therapy and physical therapy. They watch patients transfer in and out of the tub. They watch them get in and out of their beds. Health professionals make written recommendations the client can take to their doctors, and they work with Fresh Meals on Wheels to make immediate changes. Finding volunteers to come in and fix carpeting or to fix um, stairs, to do some clean out gutters. Everybody has a specialty. That's what I like about the program. They understand where I'm coming from, you know. With one end goal. If we can find ways to prevent falls and to just eliminate some clutter or to help people with exercise training so that they get a little bit stronger, we've really done something good for these people. The program is called Driving Wellness Home. So far, they've helped about 30 people. This started with no money, but it's now funded with grant dollars, so the client doesn't have to pay anything. Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.